What's up, everyone? Today we are going to talk about how to answer double questions, also known as two-part questions. This question is from Cambridge at Seventeen. The focus of this video will be on how to develop your body paragraphs. Let's look at the questions first. Some children spend hours every day on their smartphones. Why is this the case? Do you think this is a positive or a negative development? The structure of a double question essay is actually very simple. We simply answer the first question in body paragraph one and answer the second question in body paragraph two. But developing your paragraphs is definitely not easy. Let's start with the first question: Why is this the case? So, if they use the plural reasons and ask what are the reasons, then we have to write more than one reason. But when it comes to why is this the case, we can give either one reason or two reasons. But which method will allow us to get a higher score? So this is my score explainer. As you can see, a key factor in scoring a seven or above on the writing test is to have only one main topic in each paragraph. So definitely go with the approach of giving only one reason. If you truly want to give two reasons. I suggest not including them in just one paragraph. Split them into two paragraphs. This way, each of your paragraphs still has only one main topic. So, why do some children spend hours every day on their phones? The reason I came up with is that social media is so good at keeping your attention. Here's my topic sentence: Social media algorithms are extremely good at providing people with content that will hold their attention. But please keep in mind that having one idea in your topic sentence doesn't necessarily guarantee that the whole paragraph will have only one topic. Here's a bad example: They track user search history to determine what topics users are interested in. They also collect data on user engagement so that they can serve up content that is more likely to keep users on the platforms for longer. Since children tend to lack self-control, they may be unable to resist those personalized posts and wind up wasting too much time on their phones. This seems to be a very good development of the topic sentence, but this part actually isn't as good as you think. It would have been better to focus on only one point in the explanations. As you can see. This part not only talks about search history, but also talks about engagement. This is listing items rather than developing the main topic. To solve this problem, we can choose one of the items from the explanations to discuss. That is to say, we talk about either search history or engagement. We don't talk about both of them. We choose only one of them to discuss. Now I'm going to show you how to turn the list of items into good progression. First of all, forget about words like also, moreover, and furthermore. If you use these words, it's very likely that you are introducing a new idea rather than expanding your previous idea. To keep our explanations focused on a single point, we must make sure that one sentence leads to the next. Does this sentence lead to this one? No, it doesn't. They are just a list of two different things. So now I will use only user engagement to support the topic sentence. They track user engagement. What do they do next? The next step is to analyze the data collected, right? And use machine learning to analyze the data gathered. So they collect and analyze data. How does this help to hold users' attention? In this approach, they can offer users an endless stream of postings, optimized to keep their interest. Now I'm going to show you how to improve this part. So in general, algorithms track user behavior. Engagement and search history are just two aspects of user behavior that they track. So we can change this to: they track user behavior like search history and engagement. This is not listing items. This is using examples to support user behavior. Now, do you see the progression in the explanations? Do you see how one idea flows to the next? It's so important to focus on only one point and have good progression in our explanations. 
as you can see, my score explainer says that to improve, don't develop your points separately. Instead, ask yourself, how might I develop my idea so that it logically leads me to my next idea? Does it make sense now? And of course, we need to talk about children. Since children tend to lack self-control, they may be unable to resist those personalized posts and wind up wasting too much time on their phones. This paragraph is done. Now let's move on to body paragraph two, in which we will answer the second question. Do you think this is a positive or a negative development? Again, in order for the paragraph to have only one topic, it's best to choose only one side to discuss. We say it's either positive or negative. Otherwise, the paragraph will have two topics. So I think this is a negative development. But our topic sentence shouldn't be just something like, "Unfortunately, this should be seen as a negative development." We need to come up with a reason why this is a negative development. I think it's a negative development because it can harm children's mental health. We need to put mental health in our topic sentence. Unfortunately, hours of phone time every day can harm children's mental health. Remember, when we develop this topic sentence, the goal is to build a progression rather than listing items. Perfectly filled the pictures and staged the videos on social media create an unrealistic world for children scrolling through their feeds. Consuming too much content like this may make them unhappy with who they are. Note how the first sentence leads logically to the second one. Because many social media posts are toxic, consuming them may make children unhappy with who they are. This is the cause, and this is the result. Now I will give an example. The goal of an example is to make explanations more specific. Perfectly filled the pictures and staged the videos are pretty general ideas, aren't they? We can make them specific by talking about concrete things like mansions, luxury cars, or perfect bodies. Unhappy with who they are is also a pretty general idea. In our example, we can specify exactly what they are unhappy about. Perhaps they think they are too fat, or maybe they are bothered that they were not born into a rich family. My example is gonna be about body images. Consider the body image issues that Instagram has caused in teenage girls. After seeing post after post of fitness influencers who appear to have perfect lives and bodies, some adolescent girls may find it very difficult to refrain from comparing themselves to those influencers. It's not surprising that so many start worrying about their physical attractiveness. Do you see how the example is using details to support the explanations? This is the entire body paragraph two. Next, the introductory paragraph. As you probably know, we can first paraphrase the question statement. In terms of children, I will instead say children and teenagers. So in theory, you will be a child until you are 18. That is to say, teenagers are still considered children. But in reality, no one would tell a 17-year-old learning to drive that he or she is a child. So yes, teenagers are children, but we wouldn't call them children. So children and teenagers is actually an improvement of the original. In terms of spend hours on their phones, I will instead say use their phones for hours. Next, we need to give our opinion. As you can see in my score explainer, our opinion needs to be clear throughout the response. That is to say, it needs to be clear from the very beginning in the introductory paragraph. So this is asking, why do you think is this the case? This is asking for your opinion. So in the introductory paragraph, you have to briefly state why you think this is the case. In body paragraph one, we have already said that this is because social media algorithms are extremely good at providing people with content that will hold their attention. All we need to do is say it again. This, in my opinion, results from social media platforms' exceptional ability to keep users' attention. We also need to briefly answer the second question. It should be viewed as a negative development because it can be harmful to children's mental health. 
The conclusion paragraph is basically the same. We state our opinion by briefly answering the two questions. In conclusion, some children spend a large amount of time on their phones every day because social media constantly present them with content designed to keep their attention. This is answering the first question. Sadly, this may take a toll on their mental health. This is answering the second question. To take a toll on something means to have a bad effect on something. This is the entire essay. In order for each paragraph to have one topic, giving only one reason is not enough. We must also make sure that our explanations are not simply a list of items, but rather a logical progression. That is, one sentence leads logically to the next. That's all for this video. You might also be interested in discuss both views and advantages or weigh these advantages questions. I think for these two types of questions, it's even harder to have only one topic in each paragraph. Be sure to check out these two videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.